Rise and shine. Hello. Hi. It is one o'clock in the morning. Wait, we're around six hours into this. Uh, I think we have our story figured out. We have the story line. We have an idea of like the scenes and stuff like that. We are now rearranging our entire office to look like a doctor's office, which thankfully is pretty easy with all the white walls. So um, while Tristan and Joe start writing all the dialogue in the script for everything, we, the rest of us, are setting up the waiting room for the clinic in our conference room. So, let's see how this goes. Leave the Pixel Lab logo on the front or take the... <laughs> <laughs> it's a feed from this. Modern yeah. <laughs> and the door closes. We just need to light this in a way like where we don't see my stuff in here. I don't know if we're gonna be in here at all. We're not. It'll be from like a it, distance. It's gonna be from the outside. Next to your ear. But we're gonna be seeing into here as she walks in and closes the door. Death date paper. Calendar, yeah. Or something, yeah. Or, oh, like, oh, the calendar and the paper. And paperwork, yeah. Calendar. Beanie. So this is coffee shop and beans. <laughs> we just keep talking a little bit. Dang, the bastest. What? But, uh, I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to keep you. saying random words. Yeah, that's very nice. So you guys some coffee? Like, compliment yeah, sure. each other and Thank being you. all yeah. cute, full It's just and stuff. mixed with water. And that gross. coffee and water mixture I mean, it's just, just water, looks I really disgusting. Like, it's just gross. I think it's pretty gross, actually. I don't know what else to say anymore. It's not that bad. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Yes, you are in the right place. Okay, good. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I got I'm not good. an hour and a half late today. <laughs> well, good morning, Zach. Ty's probably on the other side of the building. Ty's inside. Oh, okay. For me, uh, shooting, I planned on trying to, like, I wanted to be able to put my feet out there. Yeah. You'll just kind of be right in the center. But yeah, for shooting, I wanted to be able to sit right here. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to probably to... shoot with the ass like this. Abigail, do you have a bike? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that two two a.m. thing, right? Yeah. Almost 7.30, which means there's roughly 11 and a half hours until the, sim the film has to be submitted in Des Moines. So I know for sure that Zach and Tristan are going to submit the film. Otherwise, today we are just finishing up the last few scenes of filming Abigail on her bike for the, I don't know, her dramatic scenes, and then editing it all together, and then going to Des Moines. So this is what the process has looked like today. Hey, you want to watch Zach around? Yeah. Okay. Zach's getting his cardio for the day. I just ran through a sprained ankle there. No, not really. I stepped on a stick. Oh. My whole ankle went whoop. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I stepped on. Oh. Like I stepped on it and went I was like, oh, I gotta get the shot! <laughs> that was gonna kill me! Live your life, the down on your price. You got to keep on your heart if you want to. Okay, it's stuck. Okay, we're heading out. Catch you later. Yep, see ya. Hey vlog.
It's Sunday morning, so we've got about 11 hours, 11 and a half hours, I think, until 7.30, which, need, which is the deadline for the 48-hour film. We've got a couple more scenes to shoot. Tristan's at the office working on editing, and yeah, that's about it right now. This what? is the worst part about this car. I catch my arm on it all the time. We're heading over to Grand Boulevard now to get the last few shots for the short film. Take one. Stop unless I tell him to. There's a car stopping in front of me. You just look straight forward. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop. Oh, he's stopping, he's stopping. What the duff? Really? Really, people? Don't you see that production going on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go on again. You just look straight forward. Don't look at us. Okay. Alright, faster. Oh. Not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary seeing her in the rear view because it looks like she's about to crash into the wall inside. <laughs> then when we get to that intersection, take a left. Uh, take a left and get on the street just to touch. We got a cut on my nose here. Because I'm filming. <laughs> Tell him what Zach did to make it okay, happen. Okay, we'll do a reenactment. I was filming. And Zach hits the brakes, so I rock forward, and then I go back, and the camera smacked me in the face. I don't know where it hit. It must have hit me right here. A movie! Stopping. We got a car behind us, you turn it. Yep. <laughs> hey. He's a grumpy old guy. Everyone on the street is like grumpy. There we go. Hashtag dude. <laughs> oh, we're rolling. Um, hi, I'm Abigail Van Patten. I'm one of the actors. Well, I guess I'm what? <laughs> Words. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Abigail Van Patten. I'm an actress in the 48 hour film that we're doing. We just got done finishing up the car scenes and the, all my bike scenes. So I rode around on a bike for two hours straight basically. And Zach managed to not hit me with his car. So doing good. It is about 3.50. There is a little under four hours left in the competition. I'm heading home now and leaving the rest of it up to these guys and I will see you sometime in LA pixel vlog whenever these guys decide to visit me. Goodbye. So we finished it. We're actually right outside the Come and Go Theater in Des Moines, right next to the Des Moines Social Club. And Mariana really needs to go to the bathroom. So we're gonna find one of those. We're also gonna turn this in. Uh, I'm really proud with what we did. Not only from a production standpoint, but from a story, uh, writing, comedy, emotional impact. 
Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching this with an audience and seeing how they take it in. That's always like the most nerve wracking part, but it's also kind of fun. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to be able to see it. Um, I'm not sure exactly when I think I know it's like after August 1st at least because that's when our screening is so We'll let you know ASAP. We'll probably post it on All the channels and stuff that we have But yeah, we're about to go turn this in so sicko mode Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now we're going to go for dinner. How do you feel? No, you don't want to eat there? What? Accomplished? <laughs> we do. Um, hungry. Scared. Excited. Oh, yeah. ah! Your Take ponytail that. is on point. My ponytail is on point. Thanks to Mario. So. Uh, yeah, no, I feel good. I feel. I was saying to the vlog earlier. Not even just production quality, I think like story and writing quality is on point. As the teens say. What do you think was the biggest attribution to the fact that like everything kind of turned out? It wasn't like one thing shined, it was the whole thing kind of felt good. The film itself or the process? Process and film, like what was the one thing, like what was something that contributed to that? So I think contributing to like the production of it, everyone kind of going into their own roles and like, I mean, yes, there's flexibility to step outside of them, but when you're dealing with a, such a short time frame, you know, if someone, you know, kind of tries to do too many different roles or tries to like kind of mess with the flow of things, which didn't happen in our case, which is great, that can slow you down. But so everyone kind of just in their role and- Stayed in their lane. Yeah. Yeah, but in, a way. In, in, in like the best way possible, I right. guess. I don't know how to phrase it, but... I know what you mean. Yeah. So I think just everyone is sticking to their roles and doing them to the best of their ability and doing them great was amazing because... Yeah. I think for me, the thing that made the biggest difference was the fact that we kept it simple. Yes, we didn't try to, that too. We didn't try to overcomplicate it with visual effects or crazy story back and forth stuff. Like, we just kept it simple and clean. Yeah. And that allowed us to just focus on telling that story the best possible, best way possible. Yes, I would so. agree. Now that being said, it <laughs> from a production standpoint, we did do things that I didn't necessarily anticipate us doing, like some cool drone shots. I mean, the format in which we shot it, um, you know, the equipment and stuff like that. Not necessarily it wasn't necessarily simple from that standpoint, but the essentials were, you know, simple. The story. Whoop. It wasn't simple in the sense that, like, we had full-out gaff and lighting rigs. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Ty Belfi. Um, nice work, Ty. Yeah, just made everything look amazing. Um, yeah, I, huh? I'm, i like, just ready to... It's time to sleep. Yeah, at some point. That's what it is, time to sleep. Time to sleep for a little bit. After food. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put the camera away and just relax now. Yes, let's, let's not touch the camera for a while. See you later. Sorry, Sydney. <laughs>